Hello everyone. In today's uh, video, I will show you uh, a pro villa project uh, done in uh, Revit. Uh, I got some uh, pictures out of uh, one of the uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook uh, channels, and uh, I see those uh, those images, and I I think uh, it would be nice if we can do this project. Uh, it's a nice uh, villa, and um, I bet we can do that as a good example for. Uh, uh, a type of work where you got just uh, pictures and plans goes like a marketing plan uh, like this one it doesn't have any dimensions on them and you don't have a scale on either grid nothing in it and uh, that's just the ground floor that's the uh, first floor some uh, few images actually uh, so first first thing first and I'm just gonna go to insert this image and try to rescale it in uh, in Revit directly. I've done a couple of videos and to do that in, in AutoCAD, but let's uh, have a look and do it in Revit. So let's just start up our project. So I'm gonna go project, picking a metric system, file, default metric. And then I'm just going to insert the picture as uh, as I found it in the internet. Let's just go to um, insert and then image and then go wherever you saved it. I did I think in the flash. Yep. and let's go for this which is number five so that's five try to place whatever you want it doesn't you know not really matters now uh, so that's it for now uh, zoom in and I'm gonna find some something like this door and I'm gonna assume that it is just um, one meter wide and I'm gonna draw a, uh, just a notation line here. Zoom out and zoom in again. Probably I need to push it with arrows up a little bit. You can't find the exact correct location, so just don't bother to make it a hundred percent right because it's almost impossible. You're gonna get back to make more uh, uh, more logical number. Uh, copy that down wherever it fits here and use the arrows zoom out so if it's look okay on such a view distance that means okay now if you put a dimension between those two things whatever the dimension is uh, just forget it it's just make no sense for you just take that guy and push it up 1000 which is the real number that you're assuming if you're assuming that the door opening 900 it's okay I'm gonna assume just it's just one meter and now we need to scale the whole image including this and this based on this gap or this distance making the entire image to scale so to follow the 610 and make it one meter so I'm gonna scale everything like that and probably we go to scale and then in it, I'm gonna go graphical, not numerical. I don't know how much it is, so just graphical. Start from this point, ending from to this point, and then you have to stretch that or scale that up to this. So, this dude is no need anymore. That guy is just one meter. Now it's almost a scale. Now push it a little bit down so you see all the uh, you can see all the if you can and I think I can't here yeah. so I'm trying to see the elevation okay it's far away my fault good so safe I'm seeing this one this one this one this one they all see all the building even including the, the external fence so it's in the perfect location so the image now has been scaled down now uh, it's really good to uh, actually double check I know the unit is millimeter you should have you should have checked that from the beginning and but because when I started up a metric file 
a default unit it will be a uh, metric millimeter so if you want something else you probably have to do that earlier before so just check this if it's millimeter if it's it's, it's okay just change that if you don't want it to be millimeter just go meters if you want so don't forget the units and uh, the next step is uh, you have to go ahead and uh, you know define your levels so I'm gonna close this and come again here and change that to ground floor because uh, what I believe that the images were saying that's uh, something here upper ground the floor so cool so that's a ground floor so I'm gonna click here I'm gonna ask him that it want to rename everything related to that so just hit yes so, so that will be renamed in here and here that's what we want and I'm gonna assume that it's a 3000 500 levels not really quite sure of the height but I'm just uh, trying to figure out that if this is uh, you know, like a two point something here the door the height so probably there's less like a height like a one meter above it with 300 mil of a slab so it's probably 3.5 here and 3.5 here as meters and then so 3.5 by 3.5 this guy is like uh, like an ever extra one so that part is a double volume as you can see and it's a probably one meter extra height as you can see and that goes above with around one meter so for now probably I'll just go ahead and uh, uh, define uh, another level another 3.5 actually for some reason I made a mistake in here so 7000 and I'm gonna call that level 1 and yes and I'm gonna call that level 2 or probably gonna change it to roof or something so so far so good that's just a setup uh, increase the width of that and the same thing here because of course the building will be bigger than that so try to prepare and set up the project file uh, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you uh, the first step of making this villa and that include uh, preparing the file and the most important scaling an image uh, and make it to scale to prepare drawing uh, your architectural uh, walls and architectural elements on it. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.